Hey, welcome to the Friday, Tuesday night, 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well today. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And tonight's Tuesday night, we do job talk. It's going to be a little different because I'm going to share with you some things from this giant. I got this from the for the museum the other day. We picked, picked it up from a retired gentleman. Night says bulletin. So this thing is the job postings from the Pennsylvania Railroad. So it says from 1943 to 1949. And the original little piece of paper work says 1941. So basically back then, if you were looking for a job and you're a part of the union, you would go to this book and look for an advertisement. It has everything. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time kind of sharing some things, go through some of the, the highlights from um, the job postings for, for this for this week. And I want to share some of this stuff out of here because it really is neat because we're talking about LinkedIn and this is a different thing than normally out there. So I want to share that a little bit. Um, let me see. Let me find a page here. Got to be careful. I don't want to ruin it. So... There's a page here, 1949. So basically, so it would show, well, if I can show this, I'll show some job postings. Oops, don't want to break it. Bubbles, bubbles over here kicking me. Um, so it would, so this is, this is the right, so it's the little position. Uh, assistant foreman TNS, I don't know what that means, a new position. Penn Station, lower level, rate of pay, $390 per month, duty, 8 a.m. to 12 noon and 12.30, and then meal period. It gave you, so it gave information and pay, what they would get paid. I love this one. Okay. Um, I don't know what TNS stands for. I have to figure out what that means one day. So here's one. Maintainer, position number 562, and it says... Uh, rate of pay at dollar fifty one per hour. It's a maintainer TNS, so that was kind of that, right? Now, what the gentleman was telling me, um, it puts down who got appointed to what jobs, what positions they worked. It tells you who got appointed. I know I saw on here layoffs too. So we saw that. So they would go through and announce um, people who got laid off. I mean, everything was written in here. They told you everything, your whole personal history. But this is what the union would use and the employment office would use to help you go find a position. So if you got laid off in one place, you would go look at um, this thing for another position or something, or bu what they call bumping. So they would bump. So if you got laid off, you can look in here for another position to see if it was a lower grade than what you were, and you can go in there and bump them off. They had the same thing when I worked for the um, federal government as a federal employee. Um, thought I saw a bunch of layoffs here. Tells you who got appointed to what positions. Um it was interesting. It's got everything in there for all those years. Who got what? Who was who got what positions? And if you can bump them as a union person, but it has the rates. There was a list of all the people that got laid off and what they were. So it was very, it's very interesting little book. It's from 1940. So compare having to go through this and keeping track in this for finding a new job versus going LinkedIn. And I wanted to share that. Just because I thought it was interesting, I, I realized that we we're doing the Tuesday night show, and I'm like, oh, I should share that. And it's just it's just a neat, interesting piece of history and how they used to go about looking for jobs. Now we have this thing called LinkedIn that helps us find jobs. So I wanted to share that all with you. And with that, I want to share. Uh, nope, not the little display. I want the big display. I want the big one in my little video. I'm going to get rid of the back video. So... This is the latest job reports. I'm just going to do the job reports tonight. Keep it short because it is late. It's almost 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, and it's a day before Ash Wednesday here. 
and as I, as in, in my religion. So you get ready for that. Um, as far as all the things that went out there and, 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 and news off the United States is pretty much the same though. Agile business analyst went up 18,000 postings since last week. Business analyst went up 20. Um, Agile product owner went down 8,000 to 110,000 positions. Um, Agile coach, which we still say, we all should agree that that's a crazy number. It's at 100,000 positions, went down 16,000. Agile coach went down 5,000 to 48,000 positions. Um, the big weird one that came out this week, and you'll see the chart, is business analysts in the EU. I don't know what they did. Maybe they took the same information that they had from um, the United States or something. But you went up to 272,000. It went up 255,000 position. I, I double-checked it twice. I don't know why, it's, but apparently if you're a business analyst, go on LinkedIn now and see if there's a posting because apparently there's 255,000 more positions for business analysts in their European Union right now. I would I would go jump on that and see what they posted. Um, and the other big number here is Agile. Went down 7,000 positions. Uh, everything else pretty much stabilized. Uh, Azure Project Manager in the EU went down about 1,100 to 31,000 positions. So the EU is pretty much the same, except for that business analyst position. It kind of went insane, to be honest with you. It's just my interpretation of insanity. <laughs> it's no reason why I would do that. Here in Philadelphia, nothing really changed. No big news. Um, Agile went up 1,000 positions. So in Philadelphia, knowing about Agile can't hurt you because it just went up to 30,000 positions here in the greater Philadelphia area that have the, that talk about being agile. So otherwise everything's pretty much unchanged for that. Um, certificates, uh, CSM, PSM, safe, agile, pretty much less agile, pretty much all the same as they were previously. Again, CSM still says 10,000 positions, safe, agile, says 9,000. Oh, I should put the banner up. I put all that word in a banner and then I don't show it. It's terrible. So there's the banner for the CSM position, for the certification position. Still, Kanban is 49,000, went up 1,500 positions since last week. So if you missed um, Jennifer Steelman talk about Kanban, it is recorded on um, YouTube, so it's there, and she said she would do a second show. So uh, at least the balance of what we did, we just have to coordinate when, and I'm going to post up in our meetup.com the, the, the papers that she presented. Um, PMP is up 15000 So PMP is up for the month, so it must be getting people getting money for um, new projects. So again, a lot of project manager positions. Out there, let's say overall project manager went up 18,000. So that makes about right. So it's up 18,000. The number of PMP positions required requested up 15,000. So that sounds like a proper number, right? All right. So let's, I'm going to change the banner to the United States. So there's a US banner for jobs. Um, I'm going to show the weekly tracking average ones because. I thought that was the most interesting. So this is the United States. Oh, no, this is Philly first. So this is the greater Philadelphia. So maybe I should put the greater Philadelphia rolling schedule jobs on the bottom there. So that's scrolling through. As you can see, it's pretty steady state. Not much change as far as past couple of weeks. It looks like it's steadying out from month to month. And then I'm going to go U.S. jobs. Let's go check out U.S. jobs. Uh, oops, a little too far. Here we go. U.S. jobs tracking a little higher. I mean, these are trending a little higher up here. The project Agile project manager. So more work I guess come the new year. It's all trending up, but pretty much everything's trending up. The only one trending down was Enterprise Coach, which we all say is crazy number. It's probably not that number. It's probably too high than it really should be. So that's way up there. Um. So that's pretty steady. Now, now where we're gonna look, we're gonna look at the EU numbers because that's the one that's crazy. 
right? So I got EU jobs going up. So I'm going to change the spreadsheet. I'm going to go back over, go down to the EU numbers. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that jump up like a crazy person up to 200 from nothing. So <laughs> this is a great example of testing. It may test right, but it is it right. It can't be right. This is ridiculous. I don't think 250,000 new jobs would open up in business analyst position. But you know what the testers and the automated software, well, it passes thing. Well, you know, th that's not, that can't be right. So there's something going on with the algorithm. But again, the testers at LinkedIn are failing their job to understand what is really supposed to be there. You would think they would double every once in a while, but check that. And, and you know, they're probably, oh, it, it's doing what it's supposed to, but it's wrong. So anyway, so those are the numbers this week. And again, just kind of sharing off this thing. Um, can you imagine having post 250,000 jobs in this, in this book? How hard that would be. That would be like crazy. So let's see what else can let's see what we got here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see what else what else can we read in here in this book here? While we're here. Uh, it says here, this is dated 1947. Let's say. Here we go. Read this thing. The following Pierce. Here it is. I love this. I remember this in the government so much. It's so classic government. And but this was the, the, the commercial train, right? The following position is hereby advertised for bids in accordance with the TNS Department Employees Agreement. So I guess that's a union. Uh, application to be sent to the Understein, where they will be received up to 12 o'clock noon on July 15th, 1947. Position number 330. Maintainer TNS, headquarters Arsenal Tower, rate of pay $1.305 per hour. So it's a dollar, dollar thirty, dollar thirty and a half per hour. Tour of duty 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, territory Arsenal interlocking signals to it's probably the signals group. Um, TNS is probably tracking signals, probably. Relief day Thursday, so you get a day off on Thursday, so you get one day off a week, and it's permanent. And the CB Dehara supervisor tracking signals. So this is what they would show. Again, they're getting paid a buck thirty an hour. You get one day off, right? 1947. I'll pull another one out just to see. Um there you go. <laughs> Here we go. This is a good one. There's a couple more advertisements. These are dated 1946. Um, position number 303. Signalman. Pennsylvania Station. Lower level. Uh, Vice A. So I can think of Vice President A.J. Cooper. Um, rate of pay. Dollar point two four five per hour. So it's a dollar twenty four and a half. Per hour, tour of duty, 8 a.m. to 12 noon, 12.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., entire division, relief day Sunday permanent. So you got paid $1.24 an hour, and you had off one day a week on Sundays. So back in 1947, you didn't get two days off on the weekends, right? Things have changed a lot. Um, I know they had the, – I saw in here, I was kind of looking around – because the guy was talking about bumps. Um, oh, it, it actually says who got the jobs. So this one, the following appointments and assignments were made effective December 17th, 1945. Position 189, H. Criley, 190, R. U. Taylor. So that it names the people. I don't know if you can see it. That actually got the position, who they were, and what the assignment was based on. And you had to go back to the book. So you'd have to go through, read this book, cross-reference what position number is and what, what got there. All right. So, again, this is the bumping book. So if you got laid off, 
relief, vacation, vacation, vacation. I don't know. But it's just interesting. Had all these bulletins. And I just thought it was neat history. And I wanted to share this because, you know, people talk about what they work today and what they do. And I thought in the museum, this book would be pretty cool. I'm going to take expert excerpts out of this and post it up on the website for the museum. Look how big this thing is. It's all the jobs. Jobs from like 1943 to 1949 that were on the Philadelphia Railroad, Pennsylvania Railroad. And it looks like it's mostly track and signal department advertisements, which is probably a lot of it based in Philadelphia. So this is this is what was there. You probably couldn't hear me because I had the, the thing over my face. But anyway, I really want to share that with you. I just thought that was interesting. Something different tonight. Always looking for jobs, how things have changed. Um, just something interesting. Anyway. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. I'm... I don't know what I'm going to, I might put some stuff up from um, Jennifer's, uh, when we did the meetup.com again, we got the meetup coming up the next one in March 15th. I'm going to be talking about coaching and the neutral stance and how we do stuff for facilitation and coaching. So I'm going to be talking about that time, that I'm working on some other things that people want to do and we'll see how we do it. And that, I want to wish you the best. I got some new stuff coming, working on it. It's working. It's getting there. It's got to get into a regular cadence so we can bring this stuff to you. With that, I want to say have a great evening. See you tomorrow morning and take care. Bye.